Well, hi, this is Scott B. I'm continuing my uh, basic build craft uh, tutorials. This time we're going to deal with waterproof pipes. Uh, here is a tank full of seed oil from the forestry mod. And uh, I don't really want it here. I don't want this. I don't know why I put it there. It's in the middle of the room. It's driving me crazy. Uh, just, just for fun, build craft adds a block known as a tank. It's just a circle of glass. It makes a tank. And each tank can hold, I believe, eight, eight buckets of liquid. Now what I'm going to do is, I should have put this here on the back wall, and I'm going to set up some tanks there. Uh, tanks are neat. They, they don't connect together sideways. They will stack. And once stacked, they will all act as a single unit. So your basic tanks, they stack vertically. Uh, normally, you pump stuff into the top, and you remove stuff from the bottom. But they're really pretty forgiving. You can see in this example, I was generating, uh, I was generating, what was I got here? S seed oil in this machine. And I was using these pu this pump to pipe it all out into this into this tank. Now what I'm going to show you, fir the first thing you need to know is how to make a pipe waterproof. And you can do this using your bare hands. You take some of the cactus green, which you get by uh, putting cactus into a uh, furnace. So you cook the cactus once to get the cactus green dye. And then in your hand, you can convert it into pipe waterproof. Uh, no other items needed. And then you can take your regular transport pipes, add pipe waterproof, and it becomes a wooden waterproof pipe. And most of the pipe types can be made into uh, waterproof pipes. For this particular demo, um, it looks like I need maybe... I'll just turn them all into waterproof. I'm sure I'll need them later. And that's all it takes to make a waterproof pipe. And as usual... Where'd that dead chicken come from? As usual, as you can imagine, you use the wooden pipe of a certain type to uh, extract something from a container. In this case, it's a tank. So let me put my wooden pipe next to the tank, and you will see it's smart enough to know that it, this tank is something that it is, is able to hook up to. And then, literally, the regular transport pipes will transport it from any source to any container. And all you need now, actually, literally, is a engine of some kind to start the process. Now, for moving liquids around, a regular redstone engine is, is powerful enough. You will find uh, that's true for moving items from chests. It will move one, one item per, per beat. And likewise, it will use move one unit of liquid per beat. And let's just turn it on, see if that's all there is to it. There he goes. Okay, let's get a bird's eye view here. It's, it's kind of fun to watch. Every time the uh, engine draws back, it sucks another bunch out of the uh, container into the pipe. And the actual animations I always found for fairly well done. I mean, you get a, a, a big heap of liquid here, and it sort of slogs through the pipe and comes out at the destination. So I found this, it's actually just that simple. It's exactly like moving items from a chest, except you waterproof your pipes. And you can now pump liquids from any container to any other container. Some machines will generate liquids, and you can pump them out of the machines into a uh, tank. And it's all just that easy. And the tanks are very forgiving about where you put your connections. I usually draw stuff out from the bottom, but I find that you can insert stuff into a stack of tanks pretty much anywhere. And uh, very, very handy. So this measly little uh, redstone engine, for free, using no resources, has gone and pretty much moved an entire tank's worth over to a new location. Now, just for fun, I am one lever short. I will steal you for right now. I did notice that there was more uh, 
seed oil in that machine. So again, let's kind of analyze this. The w wooden liquid pipe, the wooden waterproof pipe, takes the uh, power from the redstone engine every beat. It puts engine into the system and it draws liquids out. And look at the neat animations as it sucks it upwards. The, the liquids really are just very well done. Okay, it's running out. Slurp. The liquids move kind of like corn syrup. <laughs> it's just a very well animated thing. And it's all gone into the tank. And the liquid's in the tank again. But I don't want it in that tank. I want it over there. So get the heck over there, will ya? Slurp. And really, that's all there is to moving liquids around. You can use more powerful engines, and they will draw out more liquid per cycle. But I've always found that for liquids, just one or two redstone engines will uh, get your stuff where you want it to go. There you go. I have drained my uh, carpenter of all of the seed oil, moved it from tank one, then from tank one to tank two. Now I can squeeze more seeds, make more oil. Now, naturally, I'm going to take out this tank in the middle of the floor, and I'm going to redo it so the seed oil goes overhead and gets stored over here. But uh, that's really all there is to moving liquids around. Now, the, the next item, naturally, in this progression is going to be I will show you how to set up a pump to suck liquids out of the world and put it into a container. Because to initially get liquids out of the ground, like, like to suck up a lake, or to suck up oil, or or to suck up anything that's laying around in the world, you need a Minecraft pump. And I'll be showing you that in the next demo. So that's all it takes. Waterproof pipes. And go get creative. Move your liquids around. I'll talk to you later.